Hello everyone, this is Pal Ponder on Weather coming at you with another update. In this update, we're we'll talking about a major winter storm with some Arctic air and some heavy snow. So before I do get started, if you do like weather related content, please subscribe to my channel as I will upload daily updates to keep you ahead of the storm. And I do ask you to share this video with your friends and family on social media. All right, so let's get started. First, let's talk about the big nor'easter that took place just over the last several days, and it is still snowing. It has been one epic event. And here's the all-time state record, 24-hour state records. And you can see some of these state records are pretty impressive. But here's kind of the bullseye here in New Jersey. The all-time state record is 32 inches. And we did, in fact, going into this system, I felt like we would get some, some, somebody in the Northeast was going to get 30 inches from this system. That did indeed happen. And these are some of the impressive snowfall totals. And even the latest update, because it's still snowing, uh, Newton, New Jersey is now clocking in at 32 inches. That's not going to be the all-time state record because that did not happen in a 24-hour time frame, but still a very impressive system. And they're still going to get probably several more inches even today as this system just continues uh, to start to wind down in that area. But we have another big snowstorm on the way. Let me kind of take you through the latest uh, vorticity index. This is what's actually happened and the upper levels. Let me go to show you what's this, how this, this is going to play out over the next several days. Here is the 700 millibar of the vorticity index from Thursday morning, February the 7th, February the 4th. So here we, here we kind of take a look at here. So here's some of this, you got a, you got a rotation up here in Canada, but here we've got this active jet coming out from, from the, the Northwest, and that's going to spin up a little bit of vorticity and set the stage for our next snow event that's going to be setting up over the central northern uh, U.S. as this swings across. And by Friday morning, uh, the 5th, it could really start to set up shop over Michigan. These isobars really start to tighten up and we could be dealing with some power outages in that area. So very, some very gusty winds and some heavier snow as this, this system is a fast moving. You can see back behind it. We've got a classic cross polar floor, uh, cross polar flow setup coming out from the Northwest. I mean, it's just inundated with these, these uh, vorticities every couple days. This is a quick moving system. So by Friday, Friday morning, we could be dealing with some heavier snow over Michigan and that will push into the portions of the Ohio Valley and the Northeast as well. But then back behind it, we even have potentially a bigger system. By the time uh, Sunday night rolls around, zero Z is about six o'clock on Sunday evening. That'll be February the 7th. We could be dealing with yet another major big snowstorm for the northeast i mean you can see this trough really starting to dig in we've got ample amount of moisture to work with and some of these heavier snow bands again could be setting setting up shop over the northeast by the time the super bowl comes on going out going into the overnight on uh, monday so let me kind of take you through what's happening at the surface so this is by thursday so that a first initial vorticity that we kind of looked at this is thursday february the 4th It'll start to bring some snow showers into uh, portions of Nebraska. This will start to include into uh, Minnesota, getting into uh, Wisconsin as we go throughout the day on a Thursday. And by the time we get into the afternoon on Thursday, it really starts to amplify. So we start to get some of these uh, heavier snows start to include Iowa now. And this will get into portions of uh, Wisconsin as well and we got kind of rain on the south side as we start to start to start to feel kind of the, the initial blows of some arctic air trying to intrude in the pattern as we go uh, deeper into the week and as we get into friday morning uh the fifth this will start to really set up shop look at the art look at the isobars over uh michigan so that is indicative of some very gusty winds in that area including snowfall. So we could be dealing with some uh, power outages and some uh, treacherous travel conditions in that area. And this will quickly move across uh, to the Northeast as well, dumping some sporadic uh, snow showers again for, the, for the, uh, the Northeast. But look, on the backside, we just got a system one after another with this cross polar flow uh, setup 
dumping some more snows into Idaho and the Montana, getting into uh, you know portions of, of Wyoming by then as as we go throughout the day. But look at but look behind behind. We talked about the isobars. This would be the setup by Friday morning over this part of the country over the Corn Belt. We've got some very gusty winds going to be working with. So I mean, we're talking 30, 40 mile per hour gust as this that quick moving system really kind of amps up and uh, move, moves across. So definitely be on the lookout uh, for that. But then back behind, we got some Arctic air to talk about. This is by Saturday morning, February the 6th. We finally start to see that Arctic air really start to pour in to the United States where these greens kind of set up. These are your below zero temperatures. And this will set the stage for a bigger a bigger snow event on, on the back side because we got a lot of cold air to work with. And these colder temperatures really start to drop south as we go throughout the weekend. So by by a, a, in this on the surface map by Saturday morning we saw that quick moving system move move across but then you you said we got a lot of cold air uh, to work with and we already have yet another system we got our eye on uh that's going to be swinging across uh, for the northeast and so as this swings across again we'll have that colder air start to really start to push so so by Sunday morning we're talking February 7th now We've got those colder below below zero temperatures extending all the way into Iowa now. So we're talking 15, almost 20 degrees below zero, you know, 25, almost 30 degrees below zero in Minnesota. So this is some very cold Arctic air and where that snowstorm just left behind and um, you know, Wisconsin portions, we're going to be getting, you know, into the teens uh, below zero. And that colder air will start to push into the Ohio Valley and eventually swing off to portions of the northeast. So as that colder air kind of intrudes, yet we have that one system still really start to amplify for the northeast by then. This would be Sunday morning. You can really start to dig in. So now we're talking snows into the uh, Ohio Valley again. And that trough will really set up. We'll start digging into that ample ample amount of moisture in the Gulf, into the into the North Atlantic, pulling up and swinging across like a magnet, and really start to intensify. By the time we get into uh, Sunday evening, it, it's just a train of, of 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 moisture to work with. And on on the backside, these ice bars are really starting to tight, tighten up again. And we could be dealing with you know blizzard like conditions all over again in the Northeast by the time Sunday evening uh, rolls around with some very heavy snow in that area. And and it just and look at the look at the freezing mark. I mean, this pulls it all the way down. So there's gonna be plenty of Arctic air uh, to work with. And this will continue to swing across by Monday morning. I mean, look at all the tight isobars really tightened up in the Northeast. That is, again, is indicative of some, some very gusty winds. So you're gonna be dealing with Arctic air, heavy snow, and some very gusty winds. It's not gonna be a pretty setup in the Northeast, especially as we, as you've already dealt with those conditions. And a lot of that snow is not going to be melting uh, any anytime soon. I mean, you can see the wind gust by Monday morning. We're talking February the 8th here. Look at these gusts. I mean, plenty of real estate getting, you know, 40 to 50 mile per hour wind gust by then. So yeah, temperatures, you know, in, you know, single digits. I mean, here's the temperatures by morning, Monday morning you'll be working with. So we got heavy snow in the area. We've got wind gusts of 40 to 50 mile per hour. And we got that Arctic air really intruding into the pattern with, with uh, you know, teens. We're talking teens below zero in Indiana, in Ohio. You know, that will start to filter into portions like Pittsburgh will be below zero. As far These are air temperatures, not even wind chill. So you can imagine what it's going to feel like with single digits in, in Pennsylvania with a 40 to 50 mile per hour wind gust and some heavy snow. That's going to be some brutal conditions coming up on possibly uh, Monday morning as this kind of really uh, gets its act together. And you can see some of the preliminary snowfall totals, again, are pretty impressive. Some of this is picking up on some additional snow that's still going to be flying from our first event because a lot of this hasn't even hit Maine yet. But you can see we could be dealing with some 
she places like double digit totals again in into the northeast by the time sunday going into monday uh rolls around but even michigan places like wisconsin into michigan with that first initial setup on friday yeah we could be dealing with seven eight nine ten inches uh from that system with some gusty winds and that active cross polar flow in the northwest will keep some heavier snows uh, going on and and uh, that region and some of these snows will try to keep try to push south but i'm not sure exactly how far south they're able to get we might reach portions of missouri we'll just have to watch this as this continues to push across but even the canadian models kind of still implying the same thing so even at this you know stage of the game we're even still getting some model congruency of a, another big snowstorm setting up over uh michigan and getting into the northeast by the time friday saturday and especially into sunday going into monday uh rolls around but then even behind that i've been getting obviously a lot of questions like hey Hey pal, you know when's it going to snow? The, when's it going to snow in the south? When's it going to snow in the southeast? You know what's happening? So here's the setup back behind it. Obviously, we've got a lot of Arctic air to penetrate in the pattern. We've got blocking with the west base negative NAO. We got the ridge building in Alaska. That sets the shop up for a, a classic setup. But for potentially, we talked about it yesterday that the southern oscillation index and the southern branch the pacific branch of the jet stream was going to get active and that looks like that's going to be coming to fruition because a lot of the ensemble members i mean here's the guidance from the 8th through the 13th so we're talking a time frame potentially between the 10th and the 15th a lot of the ensemble members say like 50 percent of the ensemble members even right now are hinting at a snow and ice setup for portions, even portions of the deep south. And this type of pattern, this type of setup would be indicative of snow and ice even as far south as the I-20 area. So this is the area, even after this system moves across in the northeast, this is the area that I'm going to be watching in portions of the south and the southeast for snow and ice setups as we get into uh, the second the the second week of, in february going into the say the february the 10th and 15th time frame so that's definitely definitely gonna be looking out for uh out of the pattern after that so man there's a, there's a lot going on this is a very active pattern so please stay with me and stay with me on the latest updates i appreciate you guys uh, watching do like this video definitely leave your comments below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to catch the latest update where i protect you before and after storm